Good evening, everyone. The title of the video is Plate Carriers Are Heavy. This video is not m meant for anyone that currently owns a plate carrier or has a lot of experience with a plate carrier. Um, it is for someone right now that is thinking about purchasing one. For whatever reason you feel you might need uh, body armor protection, uh, that's who this is for. If you have never worn body armor, never found a need for it, you aren't, you know, prior military, prior law enforcement, something along those lines, the, and that's who I'm making this for. And to make a long story short, that's it. The other thing is, body armor is a very personal thing. Um, if you've been looking, if you've been on YouTube and you just Google plate carriers, body armor, you know there are a ton of these out there. And one of the things that most of the big experts will tell you is you set it up for how you intend to use it. And each person has their own setup. Some of the people can put tons of stuff on this, and this is fine. I will reveal to you that I am 66 years old, and I am not going to run around with 40 pounds of stuff on me. The plate, this is my current, excuse my French, shit hits the fan outfit. If I actually need to grab a weapon and protect my home or protect whatever it is I'm arming myself for, this is what I'm going to use. Almost all of the experts will tell you there are three things that you need at a minimum on your plate carrier. One is ammo. The second is some form of good first aid kit. And then the third one that I've heard or that's been related to me or I've evaluated from all of the others is water, which is what I've got here. I've got a bladder. I've got a water bladder in the back of it. Here is the hose, you know, so I can stay hydrated if I, you know, if it gets really hot. Where I live, it doesn't get really hot even in the summertime. No, I don't live in Alaska. I live in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, which is actually a beautiful town. Another story for another day. Um, so, what am I wearing? I am wearing uh, the AR500 Vertress plate carrier. It is slick on the sides. I don't have anything special. I'm not wearing a cummerbund. I'm not going, I'm not wearing any kind of, you know, side armor or anything else. Um, all I've got is what you see on it. Uh, this works for me. I'm not telling anybody else this is your setup. I'm telling you this works for me. Um, there's a battle belt. And I will do that combination one of these days. I have a battle belt that I wear. Two mags here. There's two full mags. Total 120 rounds on my person. With 430 round uh, magazines. I also have a second IFAC on the back of my battle belt. And I am carrying a sidearm along with two mags for the sidearm. Um, other little tools that are on there. Why do I have an IFAC here and an IFAC on my battle belt? Well, what all the experts I have heard from, and those are John Lovell from uh, Warrior Poet, uh, James Yeager from Tactical Response, uh, I don't know what the guy's name is who is M1 Garand, um, these, or Grand Thumb, I'm sorry, Grand Thumb, not M1 Grand. I, I apologize. Anyway, these are three of the ones that I watch frequently. And the reason why you have an IFAC here and one on your battle belt is you don't know which one you're going to need, and you don't know that you don't need to dump your battle belt, or you might need to dump this. If, the one thing, if there's one thing you don't want to be without um, is something to patch yourself up with. Or, yeah, patch yourself up with. I said that, right? Okay. So, anyway, this is one of my outfit setups. 
and one eye, uh, after I take, I'll take it off and we will talk about the second setup that I have and why I'm wearing it. This setup with water in there, which it right now has, it has two liters of water in, in the bag. By the way, this is a really handy bag, but we'll talk about that later. Um, with water in the bag, two full mags, the IFAC on here, this outfit weighs just under 23 pounds. For me, at 66, it isn't light. Um, but it isn't bad. It isn't super bad. But then again, we'll talk about, a, about part of the reason why. So, without further ado, this is my shit hits the fan outfit for actually going out there and taking on bad guys or whatever. Now I'm going to show you my second one and we will talk about it. Okay everybody, this is my second plate carrier. Uh, this is a 511 plate carrier, the one that I'm wearing here. Um, but it has AR500 level 3, uh, I think they're 10 by 12 plates in this one. This one here, the one I was wearing before, has AR500 uh, level 3 A plates. Now these are a little lighter than the plates that are in this one. Uh, it also offers a little less protection in reference to the types of rounds it will take compared to this 3. The difference between that plate carrier and this plate carrier without all without the ammo and without the water bag on it, that plate carrier weighs just barely under 14 pounds. This plate carrier, as it is right now, and yes, I am a retired photographer. No, I am not a war correspondent. I was a forensic photographer uh, many years ago. So I can claim to be retired from being a photographer. Another story. Anyway, this plate carrier as it is with the level 3 um, steel plates, AR500 steel plates, this thing here by itself weighs 20 pounds. You add on, you add on the water and the ammo there and this thing would be, well, I said that was 14, I told you it was 23, add 9 pounds. This thing would be close to 28 pounds in weight. And that's a lot of weight. Um, that's an awful lot of weight. Why do I have two plate carriers? What's wrong with one or the other? Well, the reason I have two plate carriers is I bought this one for a different purpose than I bought that one. First off, that was a really good deal from AR500, and I really like it a lot. Um, I bought this plate carrier from 511, and, my, and I originally had the 3A plates that are in this in this. That's what I, again, it was a deal. I didn't know jack about it plate carriers or body armor or anything when I bought it. So, I'm trying to be less ignorant and teach myself things anyway. But my original purpose for this was, if you're familiar with CrossFit, they actually have competitions where 511, they use 511 um, plate carriers with Rogue, R-O-G-E, G-U-E, um, weighted plates in them. They're non-ballistic plates, they're just heavy weights. And that is part of the CrossFit thing. Well, I was, I did the same thing. That's what this thing's primary purpose is. I walk with it now. I try to do between two and two and a half miles uh, every day with this, building up my endurance. So if I do have to ever wear that, I can, and it's just my best I can do for physical fitness. Uh, because I was a runner for many, many years and also at one time in my life jumped out of perfectly good airplanes. Um, both my back and my knees cannot take pounding. They can carry the weight, but they can't take the pounding. But this is heavy. This is 20 pounds. And believe me, you can definitely tell the difference of six pounds between that and this when all of the stuff isn't on that particular um, 
uh, carrier. As you can see, I'm wearing my best again. Uh, my goal these days is to do two plus miles, about 2.21 actually. And the reason why I know the exact distance is I'm wearing a Garmin that tells me that and I walk the same route every day, or try to. Um, I have lost 20 pounds in this vest weighs 19.71 uh, pounds. So, for the fun of it, we're walking, building up our resistance, and this is how I use this plate carrier. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about this particular uh, Virtus vest and some of its features. I'm trying not to make this too long, but let's just do a close-up. Um, I have lived the creed IFAC down here. I am carrying, obviously, PMAGs. I'm a 300 Blackout fan. I don't even own a 556. Uh, these two carriers, it's a single double mag thing that's we wove down in here from 511, which I really like. I'm carrying, uh, this is a handy little tool. Very handy little tool. It's called the Rail by Leatherman. But, uh, I got this from Sig Sauer, which they don't have anymore, unfortunately. It's a really nice little tool to have if you need to do immediate AR work at any time. Um, we will flip it around to the back. And like I mentioned, this pack here uh, came from uh, AR500. And it's a really nice pack. It actually expands out you got a screw down here, around here, zipper not a screw, I'm sorry, that unzips it all the way out and allows it to expand out quite a bit. Now, you don't have to carry, you know, uh, a bladder in it. I currently had one because I wanted to show you what it was like to have the bladder in this. Uh, but the pack itself is pretty handy. This particular bladder, don't ask me what brand, I don't know, but it's very handy. That just comes out, and then the whole bag just pulls out of there. With no leaks, which is nice. Um, and then you just got this really handy pack. It has a, you know, right here, you got a nice little mesh pouch to put stuff in for whatever reason and without the pack in it it's a it's it's a pretty substantial um little backpack uh, this covers all of this velcro so what you could do if you wanted to this hook and loop back here is you could stick something here you know to expand its usable usable purposes um, I really like this outfit. It works very well for me. It's small. Um, I'm actually using the bladder and something else, so I'm going to just undo that for right now and take this and put it down. But that, that's all there is to it. Um, it's got pretty good airing here. Uh, the pads, actually, we can do this because this one's easy. This one is a very easy... Um, plate carrier to take apart. Because all there is to it is you just shove this thing down in there. That's all there is to it. There's no... and wrap the Velcro around. Um, what I have with it currently is these, like I said, these are, are, are uh, AR500 plates and these are 3A level. Um, I have front and back and trauma pads. When I what I got was the three with this outfit, and it was a really good deal. So I got the plate carrier, the level three plates that are in the other plate carrier, and the trauma pads. And I think it was ridiculous. I think it was something like 168 bucks for the whole thing, um, which was, in my opinion, a very very good deal. Um, so, uh, that's this one. Now, we will talk about the other one. Uh, this is my 511 plate carrier. 
and I'm going to tell you right now, I am not going to take the place out of this because this is a royal pain in the tail. The reason for it is, you know, I like the plate carrier a lot, but I found the plates come in 10 by 12 or 11 by 14. Well, this is some odd 13 by 2.5 in length, and it's like 10.25 in width, or something just under 11. So 11 by 14 plates don't really fit, or I haven't tried. In all seriousness, I haven't tried. So if somebody can make them fit, good on them. Uh, but if they, please make a comment down below in the comment section if you yourself have done it and are using it. Um, yes, I have retired photographer on here and that just, I put that there um, because people in my neighborhood, I live in a very liberal neighborhood. Uh, we have Biden signs all over the place and somebody, you know, walking early in the morning with a plate carrier uh, you know, can get people excited around here. Um, this is a good plate carrier. It's actually a little more comfortable. It fits a little bit better than what the AR plate carrier does. It has the cummerbunds on both sides. Um, and the cummerbund systems for this, and if you choose to use the, you can get the cummerbund system for the AR uh, Virtus. Uh, it works the same way. Um, you know, basically what you do is you just flip this up out of here, like so, and then you just pull it back either side or both sides. The thing that's really nice about this particular one, you know, it's a 511 design, and I'm not going to do it, but you can, is if there's a pull thing here, and if I yank this system right here, if I yank that, in fact, I'll do it just to show you. If I pull this and just pull, the plate carrier will fall apart. Uh, and what I mean by that is these two pieces will just fall off. And then it's just a matter of ripping one of these off one side in case you have to get somebody out of it in a hurry. Um, that's one of the huge advantages to this one is if you have to get out of it. The other thing that's really nice about this particular one is this handle. It has a very, very long drag handle in it. So if somebody does go down, you're ready to go. Um, no, I am not using this one as my, you know, shit hits the fan fast. I don't intend to bug out. I intend to bug in, you know, get home as safe as I can protect the home, um, so, you know, hopefully the other one would work well. One of the things I do want to bring up, and I'm not sure where I got this, it's called Tough Hook. I don't know whether you can see that or not. I'm hoping you can. Um, this is a really nice plate carrier, because, or plate hanger, because you can hang it like so, you know, and just, you got, you know, you got this up top to hang it from, or you can carry it, and it's very, very easy to just flip and carry, which is really great. So, those are my plate carriers. And as I said, they're heavy, and I didn't make this for people who know a lot about plate carriers. I'm talking to people who have never used one, but think they might need one. Anyway, again, I truly hope you found it informative. Uh, if there are any questions, just post them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try to answer them for you. Um, if you got this far, make a comment and let me know you got this far. Uh, and that's it for now. More to come later. Bye.